Oh, as an atheist, uh, secular humanist, where do your morals and your ethics come from? Well, uh, besides no evidence and no argument, there's no need for a God because you can be a good, happy, moral, productive, meaningful person without believing in a God. And, and most of us non-believers say that holy books are horrible for morality. All you need to do is look at harm, like your mother used to say. Is it reasonable and... Aside from the fact that he didn't really ask the goddamn question, let me answer that shit. Nobody wants to really, nobody enjoys being a rapist or a murderer or stealing from other people. People want to basically be, be people want to basically be good people. So, it's no skin off the atheist back to not murder, to not kill, not steal. I just said that. Damn. Not rape. Because atheists want, everybody wants to live in a world where everybody gets along. And you don't get this world by murdering, raping, and stealing. But stop right now! The, the type of morality atheists have a problem with is the morality that says you got to worship God. Atheists do not follow a morality that says you cannot curse and swear. Goddamn fuck god dick shit and mother dick and the goddamn rags bitch cunt fuck slut god fucking damn it. Atheists despise a morality that, that says you cannot talk about somebody and gossip about somebody behind their back when they've been a shit ass to everybody else and you want to tell everybody, be careful about uh, about this person. He's a shit ass. He's a real hateful, hateful piece of POS. Atheists resent being told you can't talk bad about somebody behind their back. Atheists utterly resent the fact, the morality that says you have to wait until marriage to get have sex. Atheists despise the morality that says you can only have sex. Within marriage between, between one man and one woman. You see, so in one's respect, atheists are more beings because there's no to get off their fucking back. But when it comes time to start sacrificing and giving up what they want to do, they're not more people. They don't worship God. They don't, they don't not curse. They don't not gossip behind your back. God damn it, I was going to say. Oh, and another thing. This is done. All these atheists who talk about, oh, I want a better world. I want to make the world a better place. Have you ever seen an atheist saying this? That's not rich. Got a huge following. That does not have a substantial following on social media. That's not got that shit together. Have you ever seen a down and out atheist? Living from paycheck to paycheck, barely making it. No one knows their name. Have you ever seen an atheist like this wanting to make the world a better place? They might for a little while, but pretty soon that shit gets old. They'll, they'll, they'll stop caring because their needs and desires are not being met. And these, it is these type of atheists who are eventually kill someone else who's getting on their fucking nerves. This, this, it is this type of atheist who's unsexy, who might rape a woman. I'm talking about the atheist who are, yeah, yeah, broke, down and out on their luck. You're only telling a small percentage of the story when you talk about the new, the, the new atheist. The atheist who wants a better world. The atheist who loves his fellow man. Yeah, it's easy to do that shit when you're rich like Aaron Ra. When you got a huge following that like Dan Barker does. When you got claim and fame and acclaim and wealth. But you get an atheist in the foxholes of life. These atheists tend not to give a damn about everybody else. But you yeah, you let one of these atheists become a hero. And all of a sudden they'll go to 
altruistic. We love, I love human beings. I want the world a better place because they're happy. But if you're an atheist and you're not happy, you don't, you tend not to have even the basic morality. You tend to be, you tend to, you tend to be willing to steal from somebody else, especially big business, but nobody's going to miss it. You wouldn't mind stealing a few groceries or stealing a toaster oven from Walmart. It's big business. That, that make up for it in sales. In the extreme case, you might even rape a woman. If you are a homely looking, unsexy atheist, no friends, <laughs> you might even kill. If you are so down on luck, I mean, just look at the Columbine shooters. Just look at the trench coat mafia shooters. Because if there's no God, what the fuck does it matter anyways? If you're not going to have, and these, these atheists, atheists don't want there to be a God because then they have to stop gossiping behind people's back. They have to stop lying. Atheists resent being told they cannot tell a white, white lie. They resent being told you have to worship God. So that's my that's <laughs> I just solved the complex puzzle of atheism and morality. Are atheist people? Yes. In the sense that nobody wants to live in a world where everybody's raping, killing, and stealing. And people have basic basic sympathy for one another. There's no skin off your back to live like this. Yeah, you don't have to sacrifice the not rape, kill, and steal. But you do have to sacrifice to not gossip behind somebody's back. To love your fellow brother when he's an asshole. To not lie. To save yourself from marriage. Not have, the, the only, not have homosexual relationships. But only monogamous, monogamous between one man and one woman in marriage. Atheists are not more when it comes to that. <laughs> so 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 and raw based on what Dan Barker and Matt Little Honey have said let me ask you a question since Matt Little Honey says there's nothing wrong with a man having a desire to have sex with children, just as long as he doesn't do it. But my first question, Aaron Roth, would you want your dead granddaughter living next to a man who had desires to have sex with children, even though you knew he'd never do it? Would you want this? Because if he would, you're a sick fuck. Would you want that even though that man would not ever molest your granddaughter, he would have he would look at her and have fantasies about having sex with her. But that's all he would do. And according to Matt Little Honey, there's nothing wrong with that. Would you want this motherfucker living next door to your granddaughter? <laughs> <sighs> Next thing, I, ask, I have to ask you a question. In the future, they're going to have virtual reality cyber sex. Where they can hook up a man and the, the necessary equipment, the computer equipment, and create an image that he actually can fuck. That, can, that this computer can create the perfect woman. And let him fuck her to his heart's content. Would you have a problem with this, a child molester, just so long as he never acted upon his desires in real life? Would you have, would you be comfortable, would you be comfortable with this man on virtual reality, creating, creating not existent virtual children? And having sex with them in the virtual reality world. He wouldn't be really molesting any kids. So, according to Matt Little Honey, it seemed to me Matt Little Honey would be comfortable 
Matt Dean and Honey, in fact, were encouraged pedophiles to buy a virtual reality and get their rocks off to virtual children over and over and over again. To me, that may is. Would you? Are you? Would you be down with that? Because if you would, you're a sick fuck. Don't you know, you dumbass, that bad behavior first starts out as bad thoughts in your mind? We need to talk to police with God because stinking thinking leads to a tainted tongue, which leads to a evil life. Do you understand me? Goddamn fuck, god dick shit, and mother dick, and a goddamn rag. Baby, put my face, put my face on my face, can Baby, put my face, put my face. I put my back so you would love me, but instead you stood up, up, you spit me out, you kick me down. I hate your never love me. Yeah, absolutely. We don't arrest people so, and put them in prison for Hunt, wanting to do a thing. saying that it's okay to desire to want to rob a bank? That's yes, okay sir. To to it's yes, okay, sir. It's okay to want wow. to do anything. Yes, sir. It's so not okay to do anything. Oh, what about being a, what about a mass murderer? Is that an okay desire to have? It's okay to have that desire. <laughs> right, it's as long wrong as you're not acting on it. As a matter of fact, the person who has that desire and never acts on it is engaging in a morally superior position. Yeah.